Khan versus Peterson. This fight occurred right here at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. All of these individuals up here that you're looking at were in attendance, and we had a significant amount of, uh, what would you guys say, promotional detail Influence. with this fight? Influence? We did. Um, but all of the promotion that we did bared no circumstance to what we actually saw in the ring that night. I think the term home cooking was used. A few times. A yes. few times. <laughs> I've described the decision. What happened? It, in my opinion, I thought it was a pick and fight, man. I mean, you could flip a coin, could have went Khan, it could have went Peterson. I think that uh, all the belly ache and Pete, uh, Khan is doing right now is, is kind of sickening for a fighter, man. It's, it just shows how, you know, pre Madonna these fighters are nowadays, man. I mean, if you lose a fight, you know, if you guys fight again, you know, which is what I think Peterson should do, you should fight him again and, you know, you, you, you make amends with the fight, but, you know, this guy doing all this belly aching. I mean, you know, people talk about the fight when he fought Madonna. People talk about Bradis Prescott. You know, Khan hasn't given anybody a rematch. So, you know, hey, you, you lose fair and square. I mean, you know, him calling D.C. a disgusting city, a dirty city, and he sees why nobody's fighting here. You know, that's that's kind of hogwash, man. I think it's very it, – I think it shows is that uh, – I think it shows Khan being pretty classless, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it was a good fight. Uh, like I said, I think that he, Peterson exposed his weakness that Khan can't fight on the inside. And not only that, he was running a lot. And I think that Peterson took, took advantage of what was given to him. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, all the scorecards were pretty much a one or two point uh, difference. My scorecard uh, was 113-112 for Peterson. I thought that he did pull it out. Well, last judge, he had a 15 uh, to 10. Did he have a 15 to 11? No, he, remember at the end, it was 115 to 110. Okay, 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 okay. The, the, other, judges, yeah, yeah, the other two judges, yeah, the other two judges had. No, he had a 115, 110 con. Oh. Yeah, he had a wide, yeah, wide decision. Yeah. So he had an even larger minus the two points exactly. that came exactly. on. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Right. 117, right. 111? And Khan won, and Peterson won 113, 112 on the other two yeah, cards, yeah, I believe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that was that was the score I had, 113, 112. But uh, I think that uh, that uh, it, it was a pick and fight, as, as Keith said. It could have gone either way. And uh, I'm glad that... that Khan, Team Khan has withdrew, withdrawn their uh, their uh, appeal now with the IBF because mm -hmm. I mean, it, as Keith is saying, it really is sickening that you can't just be a professional about it. You lost the fight, let's move on, get a, get a rematch, and do what you should have done the first time. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know, it's it's not really necessary to carry on. We went to the post fight press conference, and uh, the first thing that De La Hoya did when he got up on the mic, the first thing he did was he said, "If you take away the point deductions from uh, from uh, from Khan for the uh, for the." Uh, the put hold him behind the head and the, and and I think the low blows. Mm -hmm. If you take away those point deductions, then then Khan wins the fight. This is the first thing that De La Hoya said at the press conference. Both for pushing. Oh, they were both for pushing. Okay, and this is the first thing that De La Hoya said in, in the post fight press conference. The unbiased neutral the, uh, yeah, promoter. Of the fight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I mean, you know, it, it's it's unnecessary. Let's let you know the 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 judges, three professional judges, gave their decision. We have a, a decision. This is boxing. Mm -hmm. Let's move on with it. Get, get another fight or move on and fight other people and you know show what you're made of in the ring. I think what, what, I think what, went, what, what I'm sorry, cut you off. I think what went missing this fight was that you know everyone's so especially Khan's team, they're so focused on what the ref did and what the judges did, but they're not focusing on what, what Khan did, did not do. Exactly. What, what Khan did didn't you do? Why, why is that not exactly. exposed? Well, that's why I feel like this is so classy. Exactly. Right. Right. You know, you, you lost you lost the fight in a position you could not fight on the inside. And that's it. And, 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 and no one has, you know, talked about that's the that was the weakness of why this fight was even a competitive fight. Did you guys hear anything about the mystery man? Even oh yeah, of course, one. of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all over the internet. They, 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 have a, uh, they have an identity for him now. He was an official. He just wasn't supposed to be serving in, in the capacity of, of a ring official right. that right. night. But uh, but you know, and, and apparently they're saying that he did touch one of the scorecards. You know, in between uh, in between the end of the fight and when the decisions were, were finally read. But I mean, it, you know, it, 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 the end result is it didn't really have any bearing on the final the final decision because the judges had already made up their minds more or less, mm -hmm. and uh, the decision was you know was as fair as a decision can be. Two judges saw it one way, and a third judge saw it a different way. You know, what's funny. I thought what was funny about the situation was the fact that Khan, devout Muslim, uh, Malik Walid who was also there that night, referee, Muslim. And the mystery man is apparently Muslim as well. Yeah, it is. So, uh, you know, nothing terrorist-like people, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I would like to say that um, do not be alarmed. This is not a conspiracy theory. Um, there was no cooking of the books like he stated. I personally feel as though, Khan, what have you done for me lately? Right. All right, let's move on.